Uh, this one is called At Brain. It's one word. And you might recognize this if you're a, a, a zombie, f- a frequent, <laughs> yeah. At brain. If you crave brains, Any or brains. if uh, you're a frequent visitor to our website, up until very recently, yeah. we used App Brain to uh, display ratings and links and QR codes or whatever to apps uh, that we reviewed. But we're starting to take some of that stuff on ourselves, uh, especially now that that uh, web market is out. I really like that. Yeah. Uh, we're kind of using that. But let's see. This is again. It's for free on the Android market. Let me pull up the little icon here uh this has uh you know a more simple interface that greets you than yeah. app aware um and this app's unique focus is on personal recommendation so it's kind of uh let's I'll pull up here uh recommended apps so it builds a list of apps that you have they have just some sort of magical algorithms that say hey we noticed you have such and such installed like it knows I have Astro, so it's suggesting to me to install the uh, SMB module, which would let it work with uh, Windows networking partitions, huh. so I can access the my network shares or whatever uh, on my desktop using my Android phone. Uh, Fruit Ninja, it's recognizing to me. Uh, yeah, re- recommending. How many times did I say recognize instead of recommend? Uh, let's see. XDA developers. Which is like a, a chat app. Now, does it tell you why it's recommending this to you? Like, uh, what no, other information it, it, does I it don't think it, it doesn't say like you did because blah blah blah. Yeah, it just. That's one thing that's kind of interesting about the iOS genius recommendations. So yeah. It says, you bought this, so you might like this. So I'll hit right there. And it's one of these, I think. Maybe I'll just, if I just go back. All right. Now, one of the other things too, uh, the interface for. Uh, for what I'm about to show you, is a little bit clunky. They have this list button up here. And you're an iPad user, Dave, yeah. so you might be more used Pop to that. Over. Um, but this has hot apps today, hot apps this week, mm-hmm. and popular apps in the United States because it knows that's where I am. So like, you can hit hot apps today, and it will show you not just the most installed, but the fastest rising installed oh, that's cool. uh, apps like this NVIDIA Tegra Zone. That's it shows. New. Now, it says less than 50 downloads, but it's less than 50 downloads for people that have uh, AppBrain installed on their phone I see. when they installed it because that's all they track. They don't do, yeah. uh, I think, on here. I don't know. Maybe they do scrape that from the market, too. Uh, but this is a, the whole point of, again, reviewing these apps is so that you can find apps yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you'll see a lot of junk in here, um, but it'll help you. Mm-hmm pick out a couple of cool things like this uh locus app oh, never mind that's not a cool one i know what that is <laughs> not cool <laughs> so tricorder that's an oldie but a goodie it's nice to see it's huh. up and coming so you can see yeah. that uh you reviewed that on like one of the first shows we did yeah i totally did i'm installing it too nice <laughs> thanks app brain i display Expanding the viewable area on your main monitor. What? Oh, that's what it is. Extends your yeah desktop right monitor there. onto your room. Wow, because you just need that that little bit. I've tried it before. For five bucks, though, I don't know. I don't need that much more monitor space for five yeah. bucks. So you can also filter this by free, paid, new, updated, price, reduce, apps to SD enabled which is very nice if you're on a phone with uh, yeah. limited storage space like the Evo. Um, let's see. You can also do specific categories. That is a weird menu. And, yeah, no, it's all it's all pop-up from up here. I don't like it. It's not very it's not very user-friendly. It's not very don't get me wrong. There's, there's tons and tons of features on here, uh, which is really great. Uh, but it's just not, it's not quite there. It's weird. I mean, it's yeah. not a... It's not a unified interface for Android. No, and you'd think that pressing any of this stuff up here would take uh-huh. you home. No. It doesn't take you home. Take by, I mean to this screen, the splash gotta go, screen. you got to hit the back. Yeah. So, uh, huh. but the cool thing about AppBrain is you can sync all your stuff up, and uh, then when you log into your AppBrain account on the web, you can uh, use that as like a, you can post that as a public profile. 
and then oh, share cool. with other people what apps you have installed on your phone. Yeah, there was a thing in there that said like view others or other users or something. What was that all about? Yeah, right here. Explore users. You have to find people and well, by user. You can connect with Facebook. Yeah. Popular users, that's cool. Uh, but look up usernames. My username is the same thing as my Twitter name, 14N3. So if you want to add me on AppBrain, you can see all the apps that I have installed. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm also on appbrain.com slash users slash 14N3. Cool. Uh, and we'll have a user, rather singular. Uh, we'll have a link to that up on the website. So um, some pretty cool stuff. But one of the things that's nice about AppBrain is it's featured automatic app installation from the web before that was available from Google's yeah. Uh, web interface and that is supported clear back to android 1.5 so that just uses uh how does it initiate that it's uh you install this other app called fast web installer okay and that pulls that checks their server every now and then and then whenever you've you've told you've gone onto their website and say install this app or whatever then uh, that will uh, pull it up on the market hmm. and then you just hit install so it is a little bit different it doesn't install it automatically like google does right. on their thing but it notifies you that you can install it right away yeah and it was around before google had their website so oh, for yeah. being a third-party service i'd say that's uh that's pretty good really so uh ahead of the curve yeah for sure so check it out it's at brain uh i really love it this is really a power user app uh not so much for the uh the beginner but a lot of features. So, and it's free. 